Mateos, New Mexico, an unexplained phenomenon takes place. Every night, a deep and mysterious sound is heard by a large number of people. This vibration deeply affects their lips. Researchers from Auckland University in New Zealand, mostly geologists and physicists, begin a study in mid-90s to try and find out the cause. I couldn't believe it. This is uh, inconceivable for me as a scientist. And what we found uh, was even more unbelievable. What could ever be so unbelievable that this science discovered? It's the, the power that is that one is, is capable in the sense of believing in something so, so deeply that essentially it, you manifest your own destiny. This sound guided us on a true journey through space and time to what today we call North America, 3,000 years before Christ at the end of the Archaic Age. legendary nomadic people, closely tied to nature and the sound, who lived in symbiosis with sacred places, where, through spiritual rituals, found resonance with the cosmos. I seem to remember a story about um, Anton Leroy. He was without food or water and found himself wandering the Great Plains and came across a cave, I believe, where he found refuge, and when he actually awoke from, uh, from this, he discovered some cave paintings. Lyra, a controversial 80th century figure, was the first scholar to give this god's name, Wawism, and who cleared the path for our research. But just how much of what he found is actually true, and what is dead is a product of an hallucination he had in the Arizona desert, all these uh, rocks, they mean something. They, it's a holy area. Lira tells us about one more key personality in the story, Alejandro José de Mendoza, who he defines as primero seguidor of the power of belief, a philosophical doctrine called credence, which stems directly from the Wawis gods and its customs. Uh, discoveries of Alejandro Mendoza that that took him on this fantastic journey into the desert to find the root of the the power of, of Wowism. What is the legacy of the Wowist cult in Teos which can still influence our present day? Do we really know what the sound is? incredible.